Get to making with Jive Boy Station. When it hits you, yeah. Bougie Duchess with another episode of Driven Crazy. And I have my sidekick today, Brian. Say hello to everybody, Brian. Hello. There's Brian. I'm driving him over to Cedar Sinai. He's getting tested for COVID-19. Um, he has an upcoming surgery that he's getting done. And um, they, they require prior to surgery that he gets uh, tested. Okay. So I, I've got my phone. Hello, how are you? And so now let's go ahead and find the quickest route there. Cedar Sinai Medical Center. Sometimes it works quickly, sometimes not so much. Directions to Cedar Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. I can start moving down the road. Let me lock the car. Uh, you know what I forgot? My tissue. Your tissue? I've got I've got tissues in the car. Oh, okay, cool. That's okay. Don't worry about it. I got you, honey. I'm taking okay. care of you today. So I had brought a roll of toilet paper and I forgot to bring it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so like like to blow my nose after the test. I heard, I heard your nose runs. Yes, yes, yes. This is true. This is true. <laughs> um, so you know one one of the one of the <laughs> wonderful things about you know me going live is that sometimes it gets a little personal and and we forget the camera is uh is, is running so there you have it do, do i have directions yet for cedars no i don't okay cedar cyanide medical center okay watch it yeah i see you Make sure that this is good. Cedar Sinai Medical Center. Go. It's not working. It is, it's just for whatever reason working really slow this morning. You went to Google and did that? Yep, I did. Directions. Directions? Directions to Cedar Cyanide Medical Center. Hi, Alicia. Good morning. Duchess with another episode of Driven Crazy. I got disconnected, so now I'm back on. Um, Alicia was just on, and I tried waving at her, and that's why we got disconnected. Shit happens, doesn't it? But now we're on the road, and we're heading towards Cedar Sinai Medical Center. There we go. We're getting directions. It's going to tell me to turn right on Sherman Way. 
And uh, so anyway, all right, we've got things going. I'm not even going to tap this to wave at everybody. I'm going to focus and pay attention to the road. Um, so they're still selling masks. I do know that they've been lifting restrictions left and right. Um, I Didn't you say that the stores were... Brian, say hello to everybody again. Here's Brian. Hello. The retail stores are now open today. The retail stores are now open. That's just amazing. Now we've got more places that we can go and get infected with COVID. Yes. Woohoo! You know, um, I... <laughs> <laughs> just, it's crazy. Oh my God. <clears throat> you know, and I, I'm just, you know, I, I try to be very, very careful. You know, I, I limit who I come into contact with. I try to be very, very careful about that. You know, it is what it is. You know, you just got, you got to truly be careful. And I, I've, I've got a ton of masks that I wear ordinarily. I got a new lip color. What do you guys think of this lip color? I love it, honey. Look how red it is. Woo! Yes! It's a shiny little red. Traffic doesn't the seem that bad. Turn right after Taco Bell on the right onto Haskell Avenue. I will, thank you. Gonna turn right on Taco Bell. So you know, um, I did. I did some makeup shop. I went to Walmart again last night. I did. You know, I don't always film a version of Driven Crazy when I get in the car and drive right somewhere. Taco Bell on the right onto Haskell Avenue. It just it all depends, you know. I have to be in the the right frame of mind to do all of this because you know. I'm not always so crazy enough that I'm willing to just talk out loud and um, and just, you know, and go with it, you know. But, um, so, uh, you know, I, I was looking, so, you know, I, I have a peculiar Turn taste. Turn right the I-405 South ramp, then merge onto I-405 South. I-405, this is the freeway from hell. I don't know if any of you know or have heard of the I-405. But sometimes it is just absolutely crazy. And right at the moment, they've got the metered lights on. So that means that it's, it's a pretty rough ride at the moment. It means that there's a lot of people on the 405. But anyway, so um, where was I? What was I talking about? Oh, the makeup. Yeah, so um, yeah, I was looking for... Uh, you know, so I have a specific taste in eyebrow pencils, you know, and I haven't been able to find them. I hate to think that there's a shortage of eyebrow pencils. Oh my God, it was bad enough that it was the TP, but now eyebrow pencils, you know, who would have thought? So, who knows? It is what it is, so. But so while I'm on the hunt for eyebrow pencil, now I also love Burt's Bees. It's a, 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 a product. I think it's made out of beeswax, and um, and they have great lip. Uh, I, it's just very you know soothing and uh, moisturizing lip uh, color. And so I I bought a lip gloss. Oops. Oh gee whiz. That fell off. <laughs> okay. So there we go. Now, hopefully that'll stay in place and not slide off. It's held on with a magnet. And the 405 is filled with potholes. So that's what we've got going on here. So... Where are we supposed to be exiting? Wilshire Boulevard. Wilshire Boulevard is coming up. This was a pretty smooth drive over here. And it'll be even smoother going back home because 
this is rush hour traffic getting this way. I certainly will. I love this drive on the Wilshire Corridor. Oh, goodness. I would love to live on Wilshire Boulevard. In just one of these high-rise condos with a multi-million dollar view. All right, let me start waving at people. It doesn't let me go back. There's people. There's people tuned in. Hello, everybody out there in Dutchie land. Thank you for watching and checking us out. Um, you know, these videos, I uh, after I post them, I download them and then I upload them to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Do I dictate that that's exactly what I need on my page? Uh, you know, I know I have stated that I'm bisexual, um, which is okay. Um, but I'm also 55 and I'm a little modest in my sexuality at this age. You know, I mean, I'm open-minded about it, but I'm, I'm, I'm not throwing myself around, you know, around the neighborhood that way. I am. <laughs> yes, yes, that, that's, that's why he's getting surgery, because he is so, uh, <laughs> so loose. <laughs> oh, you bitch. <laughs> Well, you opened the door for this conversation. Not for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Let me apologize. I, you know, maybe I crossed the line. Just a tad. Do you think? <laughs> I don't know. But uh, aren't, aren't these? Look at these condos. Aren't? Isn't this it's just magnificent? To live in one of these condos down here. I would love this with a beautiful little terrace where could you imagine me having my morning cup of coffee sitting out here and just Bo wagging his tail and, and peeing off the terrace. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, there's just some beautiful places down here. Oh my goodness, we got gardeners everywhere. See, that's the thing, I, I, would, I would rather live in a condo than to live in a house, because see, I don't wanna have to, I don't wanna have to worry about taking care of the yard or, or maintenance or anything like that. I'd, I'd rather just pick up the phone and call the concierge and, you know, and complain about something and then have them fix whatever it is I'm complaining about.